Good morning guys. Welcome to my channel. This is Art. Um, Ibablog ko ngayon ito regarding sa radios. Why people are asking me um, bakit ako nagdadala ng mga radios all the time. A lot of people asking me Regarding my radios, um, I carry top of the line radios. <clears throat> so, tatalakayin natin ngayon guys, bakit ako nagdadala ng radios all the time. Every time that I go somewhere, every time that I go to the store, or anywhere. Okay guys, simple questions. I will answer that. Okay guys, nagdadala ako ng mga radios dahil for emergency use. Um... For emergency purposes, travel, lahat-lahat guys. Here in the States, bakit ako nagdadala, right? Mayroon namang cellphone. So, this one guys is for emergency purposes. So, gumagamit ako ng radios kasi just in case of emergency, my earthquake, flood, bagyo, or anything. This radio is for emergency purposes and also it's a hobby. So, I have my call sign. It's... Whiskey, Romeo, Foxtrot, Charlie 907. I have a JMRS license, good for 10 years. And also I have a restricted te radio telephone operator, so it's airband. So, yun guys, so I have two license. So, um, there's three different kinds of radio, um, license. Um, tatlong klase ng, um, mga license GM, uh, there's GMRS HAM and then FRS yung FRS walang license pala and then GMRS is nasa gitna and then HAM yung nasa pinakamataas so guys when I was in um, going LA going south pupunta kami with my family friends you know, pupunta kami ng LA San Diego then going to um, um, sa um, Las Vegas and then nasiraan ako that was 3-4 years ago 4-5 years ago um, kaya ako nagpunta and then get my license and get my radio so before I'm driving uh, with my jeep so nag-offroad ako pero ginamit ko yung jeep ko going to south with my family and then nasiraan ako and then there's no signal there's no cell site there's no phone signal no nothing so, nagantay ako ng tulong for almost like three, 2 hours now and then wala pa rin like kumihinto, hindi kami inihintuan. And then there's a one Mexican guy while I'm driving and then nasiraan ako and then siguro 2 hours, 3 hours na gano'n, nagantay ako, wala man na kumihinto. And then suddenly there's a Mexican guy, hinihintuan ako. And then do you need help? Sabi niya sa akin. Sabi ko, yeah, I think there's something wrong with my engine. Sabi ko, gano'n, natinig na niya. Sabi niya, oh. Inopen niya yung gas, uh, water, yung radiator, and then there's something wrong na uh, cylinder head ka, sabi niya in English. So sabi ko, okay, but there's no signal cell site, sabi ko, I keep calling, but it's nobody's answering, it's now uh, out of coverage. And then, suddenly, babalik ka, pumunta siya sa kotse niya, and then kinuha niya yung radio niya. Before, uh, kinuha niya yung sa radio niya, I had the same radios that he has. So this is my first radio, guys same on his radio so that was 120 miles away from my location sa LA so kumontak siya guys and then nagka siya ng help um nag start kasi sa W so whiskey blah blah like this and then tumawag siya kailangan namin ng towing can you send somebody towing so tumawag siya doon sa pamilya niya sa part ng LA before LA and then nag response naman so yun guys, nag-response naman yung pamilya. And then after one hour or two hours and a half, mayroon nang dumating na towing. So yun yung tumulong sa amin. And then kaya ako kumuha ng license ko guys. So tinuruan niya ako, pumunta ka sa website ng ganito, fcc.gov. Pumunta ako doon and then nag-sign up ako. Uh, nag-create ako ng FRN. And then nung nakakreate na ako ng FRN ko, pumunta ako sa FCC uh, website and then sa uh, 
GMRS. GMRS is ZA, Zebra Alpha. Yun yung abbreviation ng uh, to get the license. Walang exam guys, you're gonna take, just pay the price. That's it, $70. So yun guys, yun ang ginawa ko. And then, nung nabayaran ko na after 2 days, 3 days, dumating na yung uh, license ko through email. So sinin na sa akin sa FCC. Then dumating na yung license ko. Um, yun guys, kaya... I've been using now for almost magta 2 years na guys with the GMRS. So, matagal-tagal din mga 1 year pa before ako kumuha ng license ko after what happened. Kasi syempre hindi ko lang gagawin ko. Anong website and then nagpaturo ako sa kanya. Kinuha yung number niya and then he helped me out step by step guys. And then yun. So, yun ang nangyari. And then, that's why I get my uh, GMRS license. So, ito yung first radio ko for almost... Magta 2 years na, and then the retrieve is um, 76p, and then, you know, may midland ako, I have 50 watts, you know, different kind of 50 watts radios, Voxon, I have Voxon also, 1000G, I have the different kinds guys, so yun. So, lagi na lang tinatanong, anong use niyan, sabi ko, sabi na sa akin, well, for emergency, ganyan ng may fire dito sa amin. Ito yung ginagamit namin, nakikapag-communicate kami sa friends namin, especially here in the Bay Area. So, I can communicate with friends, different location, 150 miles, I can communicate with the radio. So, may mga, may mga iba't ibang locations, kasi there's a time that no signal on the phone, right? So, this one can help you as long. There's a repeater, you can ask permission from them. So, I have like almost 90 now, but on a different radios, I have like 250 on the 50 watts, 25 watts, 20 watts. <clears throat> so this one guys, nag-install na ako ng different frequencies, different location. So, ayun, from northern, from here in my location near San Francisco, all the way to Seattle, all the way to San Diego, all the way to Florida, all the way to New York. So yung mga main roads guys, all the way to Florida. Texas, nagas na ako ng mga permission nila so that I can use the repeater. So, pag may nangyari sa akin, if I go off-roading, if I go to Moab, if I go to, um, to, um, uh, Lake Tao when I go ski. So, mayroon akong communication with my family and my friends. So, this is the communications that we have. So, ito yung ginagamit namin, guys, itong radio. So, I can use the different radios. May Bay of Eng ako, I have ETVs, BTEC. I have um, those kind of radios guys. So, kaya ako gumagamit nito, I carry most of the time. Every time that I go to the store, people doesn't care. Some other people, they don't care. Minsan, nag-assam police sa akin, oh, bakit ka may radio? Um, first responder ka, police ka, military ka. Sabi ko, um, I have my own license. Pinakita ko sa kanila. Okay, yeah, you can get as long as you have the license. You can carry as much as you want. Sabi naman sa akin, so walang problema. So yun guys, kaya I carry most of the time. Hindi nyo alam kung ano mangyayari when you're traveling, if you're, you know, or may kalamidad, may bagyo, earthquake, or something like that. Ito guys, for emergency use. So it's a hobby also. I can communicate with all my Filipino friends, all my different friends, mga Asian, Americans, different kinds of people are using these radios. So guys, I recommend this, get your radio. Either way, nasa Pilipinas ka or dito ka, it doesn't really matter. As long as you have the license, pay $70, $70 that's it. No problem. You don't need to take the exam. Just pay the full price, $70, then two days. Mayroon ka ng lisensya. And also, I have my own repeater here at the house. So, kumagamit ako ng repeater ko, I have my own repeater. So yun guys, um, I recommend to get your license, it's a GMRS license, so that you can use a radio. So guys, ito yung masasabi ko sa inyo. Get the radio. The radio with just cheap radios, $30, $40. The VTEC is expensive also, $60. The Retivis is um, for $32. The Bayofeng is $60 for two. And then the radio uh, the G, uh, GM30 it's like $34 something like that so I guess those kind of 
70 common a hundred dollars and then you get the license only the problem you can carry your videos in your bag and then you have a block clip on your mic that's it guys one problem just in case of emergency you never know what's gonna happen at least my room came extra communication with your family on your license guys your license you're the owner right and then five families can carry your license everybody can use ikaw yung asawa mo kung mayroon kang asawa girlfriend anak mama and papa you can use that as long as you have the license for 10 years guys 10 years walang expiration yung license mo until 10 years mag expire siya 10 years pa matagal pa it's good communication i can communicate with my friends every day 24 7 so if i want to check with my friends oh this is wrfc 907 can i get a video check please um in station what's the status what's the temperature today you gonna know man this is wrfc 907 clear after your transmission is clear so Filipinas guys um they're using 10 codes need to kumagamit din ng 10, 10 codes pero mostly hindi kasi with hindi naman required eh. so i know the 10 codes guys so 10 to 10 4 10 6 10 8 you know alam ko yung mga 10 codes guys mag similar pa rin yung 10 codes dito din sa Pilipinas but you know um may pagka difference or similarities parang ganun so guys yun ang masasabi ko sa inyo guys sa mga co-Pilipino ko dito sa states I recommend to get your license good for 10 years guys just in case of emergency mayroon kang yung communication with your family with your friends every time that I travel guys sinasabi ko sa friend ko oh, guys I'm, uh, I'm gonna be traveling tomorrow uh, ganito ganon ganon pupunta ako ng ganito I just want to inform you guys baka mamaya may nung mangyari sa akin so I will inform my friends and my family regarding this so even though guys I have a satellite um spot gentry for communication at least meron pang extra um for communication so guys ito it's 160 dollars including tax and shipment ganun so almost like 180 and then this is expensive one this is waterproof guys so this one is a waterproof or you want a cheaper one 60 dollars maganda rin to may antenna so yun guys you take care and then, ingat ingat, so let me know if you guys um, have any questions regarding the communication and then the license. Alright, have a blessed morning and peace.